we're going for the engineering. Hello there. Take him out real quick with a nice little headshot. <laughs> well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another episode of How to Free to Play. We have our engineer unlocked. The best advice I can give you if you want to grind this game for free or paying for premium is to really get used to the idea of spawning an engineer first. You will get rally points on objectives, ammunition for your team, and sandbags to use as cover for your team. And all these things give experience. And if you're the only engineer building rally points, if you're the only game in town, guess who everybody's spawning on? You, your rally points. And, and trust me, they add up. This little kitten right here. See that little internal magazine? That, that little kitten holds 10 rounds, believe it or not. She has a pretty decent fire rate and even unupgraded past 100 meters. You can expect one shot down. So this rifle actually makes a great sniper rifle. And yes, you can snipe without a scope. Just ask uh, <laughs> that. What was his name again? That one Finnish gentleman. I think they call him the White Death or something. He never used a scope. Most successful sniper of all time didn't use a scope, just saying. <laughs> you remember old Larry Hunter, you see, I was going to show you the logistics and purchasing uh, my first Silver Order weapon, which I did, and this is it, but <laughs> guess who forgot to hit record? Hi guys. Are you starting to see a pattern here? <laughs> That's funny. Anyhow, on uh, my very first Silver Order, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it ju they just happened to give me a fully upgraded, that's right, four star, fully upgraded M3 grease gun. The grease gun is a monster. You can two tap people with this beautiful weapon. This weapon is absolutely a joy to control in fully automatic mode. The greasy gun, <laughs> as I lovingly refer to her as, is fun to use and if you're playing this game with any other intention than having fun with it you will have a bad time but isn't that true of any video game if you play with your assaulter squad first you want to go through the experience go through the experience and once you have a full set of assaulters with fully upgraded submachine guns my goodness it is a joy it really is your m5a1 stuart that you unlock for 500 XP, it's, it's, it's pretty much free. I mean, this is our starting forklift. <laughs> yeah, get it guys, it's a forklift. Our starting tank here, low 37 millimeter. You know, it's not that big of a gun. People don't get too excited about it, but let me tell you, this thing is a little monster if you can keep her moving. Keep in mind uh, that you also have another 7.62 machine gun up top. So if you are in commander view and you just pop your little head out and start firing those machine guns, you not you don't just have the coaxial in your turret here or down here. My goodness, how many how many does this thing have? <laughs> if you pop your head out of this tank and grab hold of this machine gun as well as the one in your hole, then you are gonna have a very good time. They just have so much ammunition on these guns you can just mow down infantry like nobody's business and the 37 well you just kind of have to make that work you have to try and get around to people's sides um, really pay attention to where you're shooting pretty much all the time i took all the sidearms those colt 1911s oh there they are very powerful pistol 230 grain 45 caliber absolutely uh, a little menace of a pistol. This is probably one of the best in the game, in my opinion. But this little Colt that we took from our tankers, we were able to put on our starter trooper squad because if you go to the upgrades, once again, the starter trooper squad, you can't really quite see it here because I leveled it up a little bit, but level six, you see how many extra points are in this? Yes, that's right. The starter trooper squad comes already partially upgraded. If you go to the red tab, the personal upgrades, I already have it unlocked, but you can purchase or unlock 
the sidearm slot for your troopers, the big red one right here. You can just take them off your tankers. They don't need a gun. They have a gun. Their gun's right here and here and here. And <laughs> yep, they, they can go without for now because unfortunately we don't have guns to give them. Joseph Johnson. <laughs> That's a cute name. <laughs> If old Joseph Johnson here, JJ, if JJ runs out of bullets in uh, his Ross rifle, you then have the 1911. And if you're getting up close and personal and you expect enemies, why not pull out the 1911? It's semi-automatic. You expect it to take two shots unless you get them in the head. It's a great weapon. It's a great backup weapon. It's a good thing to do, in my opinion. Trust me. <laughs> At level 2 or 3, as we are currently, having these sidearms on our troopers is going to help immensely. We're going to take a quick look at logistics. Now, backpack slots, we know, are unlocked a little later. You see how this slot is locked? And on, on this squad, this slot is locked. Let's take a look where the backpack slot is. That's way down there in the tree. And again, you want to be in the blue tree always go blue first trust me on this one trust me on this one go for xp 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 you want to focus that experience so you don't want to worry too much about everything else around that until you get see there it is again the xp why because once you have all of these unlocked this squad will max out within a few games you'll have all your weapon upgrades see all these that you have to work through they go a lot faster if you just focus the experience focus the experience with the exception of your first trooper squad that little sidearm perk and you might decide you don't need it that's fine but i just want to share that with you so you can see that our backpack slots are not usable by our squad so we don't want to worry about buying any of these and we already have grenades where do you have med kits and now this is random weapons delivery and sometimes she treats you good sometimes maybe not so much but it's just one bronze order you get bronze orders pretty much every game sometimes two three you know you'll have a lot of these things piled up the more you play the more you grind we're just gonna buy one Let's see what we get another greasy gun isn't that cute we can go back to our tank crew and our commander and put that little greasy gun right where it belongs right there on the commander because if anybody gets out of the tank it it's probably gonna be our commander smoke grenades obviously would be useful to help conceal yourself a little bit while you're trying to fix your tank it'll feel a lot better than having your butt hanging out in the open getting shot at trust me that's all we're going to cover today because again i want to ease you into the game i want you just to understand that the best thing you can do for yourself is hit start just go play go play grind learn the game figure out which weapons you like which ones you don't like but always keep in mind that it is a good idea to practice with that bolt action so I'm going to quit rambling on and we're going to get straight to the gameplay. Okay, let's just take a quick little look at our map here. Take a look up top. We can tell that we are attacking. We are blue. You see that little sash that in that silhouette? We are attacking. So we're just going to get a nice little rally point up. First off, first off, the first thing we want to do as an engineer, and don't, don't, just try to build it as close as you possibly can to the point. You do have to think about where the enemy might drop artillery, where they might throw grenades. So we're going to build one. And this time we're not so much going for kills as we're going for the engineering. Hello there. Take him out real quick with a nice little headshot. And just build another rally a little bit closer. See, this is called piggybacking. When you piggyback your uh, rally points, you build one in a safe location, and then you push forward and build another one in a slightly less safe location, but you will use your judgment. Wow, look at that, huh? Look at that, huh? I'm gonna take a little grenade pack here and just give those Germans a nice little hello real quick. Let's just take a little look. Take him out, take him out, take him out real quick. We don't wanna 
take our time with this now. It's important we just get on the point. We just get on the point. Anything we can just to stay alive long enough. Oof, there it is. But see, now that we have a rally point down right here, close to the point. Oop, enemy tank. We better go handle that, huh? See, our teammates are spawning on a rally point, and that gives us free experience. So easy to do. Super, super, super easy to do. We're going to tell our squad to park their butts right here while we go and try and handle this Panzer IV. We have to be kind of sneaky about it, though. We don't just run up to a tank. You don't just run straight up to a tank. You don't do anything silly like that. You see, it, you get... You got a flank. You got to just get in there just a little bit. There you go. Looks like he's dead. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Our one other trooper just to help us out here a little bit. See, mark it for your team. Just keep marking it for your team. Remember, this starter bolt-action rifle is a good weapon. It is. You just kind of have to get used to the... Uh, whoop! Just kind of have to get used to the way it handles, right? Just kind of have to get used to it, just a little bit. See how I'm kind of dipping out of this wall here? This is utilizing cover. This is effective use of cover. Ooh. It's getting a little tense out here. It's getting a little tense out here. We captured the objective. Take the flame trooper out, take him out. Ooh. You see how, even though we died there, you can see how we were trying to use that column to our right, right before we died, as cover to protect ourselves from enemy rounds. But, you know, sometimes there's just too many of them. Sometimes there's just too many to handle, and you just kind of have to pick yourself back up, pick yourself back up, pull out that little greasy gun, the beautiful greasy gun, and just keep on moving forward. Moving forward, moving forward. Yep. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Just get in there and kind of help those Germans out a little bit. You just want to help them out. You just want to help them figure out where the bullets are, huh? You just want to help them figure out where the bullets are. See the grease gun? She is so good. She is so good at range. Just let's not worry about any of this silly stuff. Keep marking it for your team. Marking it for your team, huh? Oops. Looks like the enemy is trying to give us a little headache here. That's okay. Well, it was unfortunate that we died, but we get our engineer back. And now that we have our engineer back, we can build a nice, sensible rally point. We don't want to do anything crazy because we don't have any other rally points. So we're just going to build it kind of... Yep, just kind of right here. It's not likely that any Germans are going to push this point. And again, we want to piggyback our rallies, as in we build one in a safe location. And then after we build one in a safe location, we attempt to move it to an unsafe location. But we have to fight to get to that second location. But in the meantime... That rally point that we built will be used by our team because no one else is building them. And if no one else is building them, that means it's just free experience for you. Wow, there just doesn't seem to be too many Germans around here. It's almost like, you know, this seems like a good spot for a rally, doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like this is a really good spot for a rally? Yeah. Just kind of hide, kind of hide it just a little bit, just a teeny tiny little bit. Take a look at our map. Now you see our location, the second location? We just took artillery, but since we're on the second floor and there's walls, hopefully our rally point will not be destroyed. And we don't want to sit inside the artillery. You know that would be silly. That would be a silly thing to do. Take him out real quick. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And as usual, there's someone up in this little tower here just sniping to their heart's content. And now that we have this rally point up in a dangerous location, we want to fight to keep it. 
Take a look at our little Puma friend here, and we're gonna hide from that sniper. We're gonna not let that sniper get too close to us. Take out that Puma. There's another tank. But it appears that we're out. Yep, we are out of detonation packs. That's okay. We're gonna go market for our team here. Just gonna market for our team real quick. Take him out. Take him out. Just help him out. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like the other tank finally took notice of us. That's okay, though. But see, since we took the time to establish a new rally point further ahead than the original cap, this rally point is still relevant. It is still a good rally point for this location. Uh-huh. You can help it. You do not want to let up. Gonna take our grenade. We know there are Germans around here somewhere. We know they're around here somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. Now, you, as you can see, this rally, once again, when the objective was right here, we put the rally here, forwarded the obje up the objective in anticipation of capturing it. So now that we have a good rally to capture this very difficult to capture point. This is a very good thing to do as an engineer, especially at low level, because unfortunately, built some ammo on point for our team. Game sense is not... Take him out real quick. In the low levels, game sense is going to kind of be lacking. <laughs> so it's pretty easy just to build yourself some really good rally points. Get, his, get him to cover. Get him to cover. We're going to pull out a grenade. And just kind of, yep, huck it right outside. Managed to get three on that grenade. That will help. Just pushing the objective. Pushing the objective with everything you have. Our rally point's still up, so we're not worried about losing that engineer. But we do need to keep moving. Looks like we spawned in the church for some reason. <laughs> That's okay. We're just going to kind of take a few little shots here. Just a few little shots. Taking our little bolt action, we're going to tell our squad to park it. And with all these spots, with all these little spots we're getting here, we're just going to kind of, yep. We're just going to kind of, there's another one. And just keep laying them out. Laying them out. Mark them for your team while we reload. That's always a good thing to do. Always let your team know where the enemy is. And just keep moving her ahead. Moving her ahead. You can see enemy fire somewhere around here. Boy, what? it can be frustrating when your teammates get right, right in front of your bullets, isn't it? Isn't that frustrating? Pull out a grenade. Once again, we're going to pull out a little grenade. And just kind of fluff that toss. But that's okay. We're gonna get a knife out, and we're gonna go a knifing. And we're gonna knife that gentleman real quick. Help clear the point just a little bit. Swap to our other guy with the grenade. Swap to the guy with the grenade, pull the pin on the grenade, and just take a look around for any Germans. There's one right there. There's one. Oh, that's our teammate. Did kill the flame trooper. We did kill the flame trooper. That will help our team immensely. Tanks are good for getting experience. I'm not a very good tanker personally, but you know I, you know I can learn too. We're all human. We can all learn cool new things like that right there. Getting out of your cupola. Or your commander's hatch to do a little work with the actual machine gun up top. Always a good thing to do. But you pop in and out, you see? You see how I just pop in and out? You don't want to sit there with your head hanging out all day. You just kind of... Here, I'll, I'll try and demonstrate that real quick here. Alright. M5A1 Stewart. It's basically a race car. Basically a race car. We're going to stay with our infantry and kind of sneak through the forest with them. We're just going to kind of sneak through the woods a little bit. 
Let's take a look. What's going on over here, huh? What's going on over here? See how we poke, poke our heads out for just a second? You don't want to hang out or anything silly like that. Nice. We're just going to kind of move this little kitten around here. You don't want to leave your head hanging out. Just as soon as you start taking shots, poke it down. Just get your head back down there. Let's take a look at our map. We see where the artillery strike is, and we're just going to try and avoid the hell out of that. There we go. Now we have our friendly tank kind of supporting us here while we figure out how to drive again. That's weird. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, tanks weren't meant to go in the forest? Huh. We're just gonna push out ever so slowly. Keeping our eyes peeled for enemy tanks. We do not want them to get the jump on us. Okay, looks like our teammate is uh, getting brave here, so we're gonna get brave as well get back out of here <laughs> oh isn't that funny isn't that just silly so let's take our engineer and move the engineer up who had auto spawned us <laughs> we're gonna here I'm gonna mark it on my map that's a good idea isn't it we're gonna try and get a rally point Somewhere around here. And again, with the intent, you see how you mark your map and you can just give yourself a nice little icon there to follow to your heart's content? Look at all this space you have to flank. Look at all, look at all this. Look at all this space right here. Plenty of room in the world. Oof. Uh, <laughs> that's a big bomb, isn't it? We're gonna piggyback again. Because we only have one engineer, we're gonna build a rally here, kind of hidden away, kind of out of everybody's mind, right? We don't want it to be too obvious because if we die trying to build our second one, then all is lost. Somewhere, anywhere, anywhere. Please, Dark Flow, please, thank you. Boy, I wish they'd increase the angle that you could build uh, rally points on, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Don't worry about that artillery. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, you see, it destroys your first rally point the second you start building a new one. So it, there's a good example. If you build your rallies too close to the points, they will be destroyed. You want to build them a little bit further out so that they don't get bombed into oblivion by a... <laughs> 250 kilogram bombs. You see that, y'all? 250 kilogram bombs at level three. That's what that's what we have to face at level three. Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird we're taking 250 kilogram bombs at level three when we don't even have aircraft to counter them? That's weird. Huh. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. The points are now rotating. They change, and that's a great thing um, because it makes the, the game more fun. <laughs> I haven't yet to see it on this map, so I was completely shocked. <laughs> oh, hi there. Yep, no, that's not a person. Boy, my eyesight really is terrible. You know what? Take a, take a little uh, pot shot there. Didn't get nothing, but... Oh, hi there. He does want to play. You want to be my buddy? You want to be my friend? There's one. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to give him a nice little grenade toss there. And just kind of use this little vehicle right here for cover. Nice little triple right there. Mark it out for your team. Mm, let's get yeah. cooking. Don't worry about that little flamethrower guy here. We really need to get this engineer going so we can build a rally for our team. So we're just going to kind of go uh, YOLO mode with the tank. <laughs> because again, we're not a good tanker. 
And if we die in the tank, that will free up our engineer, which means we'll be able, be able to build a rally, and rallies are game-changing. And they give you free experience. There's no reason not to use them. <laughs> We're just going to drive this little tank right on the point, right on the point. Just right on the point. We're just going to get those machine guns out and take a look here. Yep. It's just kind of mow them down. Just kind of mow them down. Just kind of give them a little... A little love tap there, huh? Failed somehow. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, well, there you go. You know, we didn't get the most kills. That certainly wasn't uh, my one of my better games. Could have done a better job there. But at the end of the day, 7,583 experience for that game as a free-to-player not bad not bad at all not bad at all for taking the time to just really think about our team and what just placing rallies in positions that make sense to help you and your team take the objective to get the victory remember it third place in a victory will always almost always score you more than first place on a loss. I don't know how much XP um, this <clears throat> skillful person dropping the 250 kilogram bombs got, but oh yeah, tanker and attacker. Ugh, gross. <laughs> isn't that isn't that gross? Isn't that? It, isn't it weird that someone? with a fully, pro probably fully upgraded bomber with 250 kilogram bombs can just drop ordnance on level threes and possibly level ones and twos. Who knows what level my teammates were, but we had someone on the enemy team who just had free reign over the airspace and because of that was able to just dump bomb after bomb after bomb onto our team. 155 kills to what I'm assuming are a bunch of low-level players. That is an issue. That is an insane issue. And this is coming from someone who enjoys aircraft and close air support. I enjoy that. This is an issue. If as a level 3 player just unlocked my engineer, this is the third game, the the third literal third game I've played on this account and this is what we face this is what we face someone who is experienced at the game and also has equipment that at level three we have no counter let's go check it real quick oh yeah there's the anti-air no I literally have no counter to a German bomber dropping 250 kilogram team wiping bombs. That is crazy. We need better matchmaking. Dark flow. We need better matchmaking. Seriously.